Hi everyone, it's Kelly from Kelly's Bead Boutique. So by now I think you know how much I love leather and knots. So I've come up with yet another combination and created a really unique triple wrap bracelet that I think you guys are going to love. So if you want to see how I make this one, come and join me. Okay, so the ingredients for our half hitched wrap are, I have about three meters of 1.5 millimeter leather. I also have one meter of one millimeter leather. I have a button and I have two of these small uh, collapsible crimps. And I'm gonna be using an assortment of six aught Mayuki seed beads. So I have three different colors here. And I also have some O beads that I'm gonna be using as a, just a little bit of a decorative feature. I have a barrel knot tube, some GS Hypo cement, and as far as tools, we're going to just be using a pair of scissors and a pair of chain nose pliers, and we're going to be using this bead board with a bull nose clip. So let's get started and I'll show you how to create this beautiful bracelet. All right, so the first thing I'm going to do is take my 1.5 millimeter leather and run it through my button. So I just take my ends, meet them up at the end and I want to find my center. Now I'm going to take my one millimeter leather and I'm going to place it on the inside of that. It's really important that this goes on the inside. So you just run it through and I want to pull a little bit out, about an inch or so. And it can be a little hard to get that through there if you don't have any nails. There we go, just kind of pull that through. So now I'm gonna fold it over so that that is on the inside like, like that. Now I'm gonna take one of my little crimps and place all of the ends through it and pull it up. So it's a little hard to show you on camera because I've got two pieces that are longer than this one piece. So, but let's see if we can do it. I'm gonna put that, those two ends through there and run it up. to get that up there there we go now I've got this one in I'll put the one millimeter in there and don't worry about where they're sitting at this point you just want to get it up towards that button all right so I have my one millimeter cord on the inside it's really important that you have that on the inside versus having one piece on the outside or this just doesn't want to work out so now I'm going to take that crimp and I'm going to push it up and I want to cover all of these I'm trying to do it so that you can see there yeah i think that went up okay okay so now i'm going to push it up and i want to have that just sitting underneath my button like that i don't want that to be snug right up top there i want to give myself a little bit of room all right so now i'm going to come in with my pliers and i'm going to crimp down and then i'm going to turn it over on the other side and give another crimp so probably just two or three crimps and that should be fine and that's a really nice strong attachment on there. So now what you want to do is isolate that teeny tiny piece of one millimeter leather and you want to come in and give it a nice snip and have that just like that. So now what you've got is your 1.5 on the outside, your one millimeter on the inside and then your 1.5 on the outside of that. Nice and easy. Okay so now we want to put this on the bullnose clip so I find that the best way is just to run it up inside like that and then you want to flip it around because what we want to do is give this a little bit of stability. So I'm going to put it on there and now I make sure I can pull this back in the frame. Um, now when you've, you've got something to pull on. Now honestly I find this a little awkward to do on camera so I'm hoping it's going to work. When I do this kind of work at home I tilt it up so that I can see and it's a whole lot easier on my neck and back but for um, the sake of the camera, I have to do it this way. So let's hope that it works out okay. So what we're gonna be doing now are a bunch of half hitches. And these are a really great little knot, um, but they can be a little tricky if you're not paying attention. And I have to admit that um, I actually make mistakes doing this. So I have to, I can't talk while I'm doing this. <laughs> I have to make sure that I'm um, actually, you know, doing the way I'm supposed to do. So. To make a half hitch, it's really simple, but you have to make sure to just do a couple so things. One is you're gonna take the most outside one and you're gonna bring it underneath everything. And then you're gonna go up through that hole and down. So you're just going under, bring it through like that. 
and then you pull it up. So it just is creating like this little half hitch knot. But where I go wrong is I get, you know, I'm like, oh yeah, this is easy to do. And then I will go over top or something like that. So you have to make sure you're always going on the under part of it. So now I'm gonna go on the left side. So I'm gonna go underneath. Then I just grab that tail and pull it through and then pull it up. So you'll see how this is like, just like a little hitch and you just pull it up. And now it's created like, there's your little square knot sort of thing there. Okay, so we're gonna do a total of three on each side. So now I'm gonna take this one and go underneath. And I don't worry about the whole tail there cause you're just gonna pull it through anyway. So go underneath and then you're gonna take that and just pull it up through that loop and then pull this up and then tighten it up. And you can see that I often will maneuver this around in my hand. That's because I don't wanna be pulling with my nails because that will ruin your leather. So I'm just careful when I'm doing this. So now I take my left one, pop it through, and then come up through the top of the loop. So that's a total of four. So let's say that, oh, you have to go answer the door now or do something else and you drop this and you go, okay, I've come back now and okay, which side do I start on? How do I know where I started? You'll see this little bump right here. That bump tells you that that was the last one that you did. So I now know that I need to start on that side. So I'm gonna go over to underneath that one and then pull this up through that loop and just tighten this up. So that's number five. And we will always be ending up on the left-hand side there. So that's my last one. So underneath, and then I just reach through and then pull it up. So there's our beginning of our half hitch knots. So now I'm gonna add my beads. Okay, so I'm gonna start with one of my colors here. So I'm gonna start with my purple and I'm gonna put two of my six aughts and then one of my O beads and then another two of my six aughts in the same color. So this is a beautiful eggplant sort of mauve color. And I'm gonna run that up and now I'm gonna do another succession of my six half hitch. So I go underneath and it gets a little finicky with the first one because you've got beads in the way now. So I'm gonna go underneath, grab that little tail and pull it up. So now you wanna pull those beads up and the first one's really important that you get it locked in there nice and secure. And you wanna make sure that this isn't too tight or too loose. So what I tend to do is I grab hold of that whole middle section and give it a tug. And if something's not quite right, you can adjust it. There we go, I just had to pull down a little bit on that left one and I just get it in there nice and securely. You don't want it so tight that this buckles and you don't want it so loose that this gives you a gap. So there really is kind of like a fine line of getting it just the right way. So it just takes a little bit of jockeying it in. It's always the first one that's the hardest. So now I'm gonna put my second one underneath and then pull through. And you see how I don't go to great uh, pains to make sure that I'm you know, holding this the right way. Once I get started, I find that this is really easy to do in my hand. So, like I don't actually take it and form a little loop like that. All I do is kind of go like this and reach through and grab it. I'm all about efficiency <laughs> and trying to get things done um, and still have it look as nice as you can. So you have to make sure that when you're doing these knots that you are pulling them nice and snug. And if you have a knot that doesn't look good, I actually find it um, better to take it apart like this one, I'm not really um, happy with that knot. So I would actually back it up a little bit. Sometimes you can wreck your leather by doing this, especially because I'm doing it a little bit awkwardly. Um, I'm just going to readjust that a little bit. Pull that one down. There we go. It's still not perfect. I'd have to take the whole thing off and readjust it. It's not too bad, um, but I do find that if it doesn't look good, it's gonna just not look good at all. So I will actually take the last knot out and um, make sure that it looks good. So take time when you're making things to make them look good. So I'm gonna do a total of three on each side. And 
and I'm always going to be ending with my left one. And I'll show you another little tip here. You'll know that you have the right amount here because you'll have one, two, three, and one, two, three knots there. So you, you'll also know that you're doing it right if your first little bump is right under that bead there. Um, when, once we start adding um, a little bit of length and you have to maybe take this off to try it on, you have to make sure that you put it back in your uh, bullnose clip the right way. So you wanna make sure that you have that little first bump on the upside. If it's turned this way, let's see if I turn it backwards, how it looks completely different, your knots will not turn out nice. They'll be backwards on one side. So you have to make sure that you start with that. Okay, so now I'm gonna add my second color. So I have this hot pink, which is beautiful. And I'm gonna put another one of my O beads. And we will have this in kit form, and I'm gonna have three different color choices. I've got um, a Picasso and then these metallics and then I have um, a beautiful combination that uh, AJ that works for me, she picked out um, and I will show you all of those. Okay, so now I'm gonna add my beads and then I'm gonna do my first knot. So go underneath, grab through and create that knot. Make sure I'm still on camera here. <laughs> this is one where I have to be careful that I don't make mistakes. So get that nice and tight. So again, I grab hold of this whole section and making that nice and tight. And then go underneath and pull that through. And repeat another two times on each side. So I'll show you the final color on here and then I'm going to um, swap out one that I made the other night. As you know, I love knots <laughs> and I'm always trying to create projects using knots. I just, I don't know, I just love them. I think they're kind of fun and um, cre this creates a beautiful, unique wrap bracelet. Now I've, there will be enough in the kit to do a, a triple wrap bracelet. Um, if you wanted, you could make these singular, like just do a stacking type of bracelet, um, but you will have enough to do a triple wrap bracelet on this one. Okay, so there's our next grouping. See how that's coming along? Let's make sure I'm still in the camera here. Move that up a little bit. All right, now I'm gonna add my last color, which is this dusty rose sort of color here. Add my O bead. Now if you find that it's hard to get through any of the beads, just cut your leather on a, a bit of a sharp angle and you'll find that it'll pop in there a whole lot easier. So pull that up. Make sure they're up nice and tight. And I'm gonna make my first one. Always making sure you're going underneath. So pull that up nice and tight. Grab that whole section and give it a bit of a tug. There we go. All right, so now we have our three sections there. So then I would repeat uh, this whole, this, like this is a grouping of three. So now I would start again with this um, darker purple color and I would just carry on. So I'm gonna swap out and show you how to complete the bracelet. Alrighty, so I've, you can see on this one, this is the beautiful colors that AJ um, picked. She's got the gorgeous turquoise and the brown, um, some mauve browns, and then these beautiful um, blue iris. I just think that's such a pretty combination there. So I've done so, a total of about 18 sections. On this one I did 16. It just depends on the size that you want it. So what you have to do, um, you have to take it off and I sort of wrap it around my wrist and I'm gonna go three times around. And when I start getting pretty close with about an inch left, I know that I've got enough um, to go around my wrist. So this one, I'm gonna leave the length that I've got. I'm trying to make these ones all different sizes. 
So I am going to now just do a barrel knot on the end of it. But the first thing I have to do is I'm going to crimp the end. So I am going to, I'm just going to trim this off. I don't need that that long, make it a little bit easier for you to see. So I'm going to put all my three ends like I did at the beginning. I'm going to get all three ends in the crimp there. And then I'm going to pull them up. And there we go. I'm just going to push that right underneath there. I'm then going to take my pliers and I'm going to give that a little squish. There we go. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut out this little one millimeter piece. So I want to make sure that I isolate these two here and I'm going to come in here and get as close as I can and trim that off. And I want to make sure that I don't cut either of those leathers there. Okay, so now I'm going to... So if you are really um, keenly aware, or maybe I should just point it out, I, um, I've been filming for quite a few hours today, and I'm getting tired, and I put another one of the wrong colors on there. I don't know what's wrong with me. So off camera, I just quickly took this off, and all I did was turn it on its side and take a heavy hammer, and I just beat the hell out of it. <laughs> because this was a lot of work and I didn't want to have to remake it because of this one little crimp so you will notice that I have a different crimp on there but it's not going to change anything because it's still working exactly the right way good lord some days <laughs> okay so now I'm going to make some barrel knots so the reason that I'm going to put a barrel knot here is I want to kind of cover up that last little bit there so I'm going to place my tube in between I'm going to use my outermost one there and I'm going to bring that around and I'm working towards my left hand and I'm wrapping three times and I'm always keeping hold of that knot so that it doesn't go anywhere. I'm going to pop this through the end of the tube, pull the tube out and you see I'm still holding on to that knot. I don't want that knot to move anywhere and then I'm going to just move that up and that will just sort of cover up any little bits of leather that might be showing where, we're, where we did that little trim because I am actually going to leave the other color in there because it did demo something and then I swap it out. <sighs> Just wouldn't be my videos if I didn't have something in it, right? Okay, so now I need to measure for my button. So I take my button and I just sort of place it in there and I know that I need to make my buttonhole about that big. So I'm going to put my tube in between, take my outermost one, and I'm going to wrap once, twice, three times, again, working towards my left hand, take the end, pop it through the back side, and pull it out. Now, before I tighten it up, I want to make sure that I've got the right size for my button, so I just kind of give it a little dry fit there. Yep, that's perfect. So now I use my thumbnail as a little guide, and then I pull that nice and tight. So now, I'm going to use my scissors and just trim off the ends here. You could um, embellish these. Um, actually, I think I am going to embellish them a little bit here. I'm going to just take a little knot and put that through here just, just for something extra on the end. So I'm just going to run a little knot there. You know, it's always about adding little, little bits and pieces on your jewelry to make them a little more exciting. So I'm just going to line that up with the other one and then I'm just going to give that a little trim. Okay, so now I want to use my GS Hypo. With barrel knots, they will move on you a bit if you're not tightening them up, so I always want to give them a little extra security with my GS Hypo, so I'm going to run it at the two sides there, and it is um, a clear drying glue, so you won't notice that. So give that a little bit of glue to give it a bit more security. Okay, so here's our completed piece. So this is a triple wrap. And this one is the three Picasso. So we've got the blue, the yellow, and the chartreuse green. And I put it on black leather, but um, you know, I just think that one is such a great combination. So we'll have the three different kits available. You'll be able to choose your leather color and the color of your metal. So 
I hope you enjoyed this video. Again, I love doing knots and I think these hit half hitch knots are just another creative way of putting together a unique looking wrap bracelet. So if you enjoyed it, please make sure to give me a thumbs up and please make sure to leave me a comment because I do love to hear from everybody. And if you haven't subscribed to my channel already, please make sure to hit that subscribe button and also ring that little bell. The bell lets you know when I upload a new video, which is just about every Monday at 12 o'clock Pacific Standard Time. So thank you very much for watching and we'll see you on the next one.